Greetings to all of humanity, especially my brothers and my sisters at the Third Exodus Assembly in Trinidad and Tobago and in Simmons and the Grenadines. Also to the followers of the message of William Branham all around the world. I want to speak to you today in a form of rebuke as usual. And it have to deal with the coronavirus and the government of Trinidad and Tobago and also the government of the world. Now all the people who are following the message of William Branham and who are claiming to be the bride of Christ and the chosen ones who are claiming to say that they are not a denomination and that they are not organized they are actually contradicting themselves. But before I go any further, I want to let you know what I teach. I teach the single eye message of self-realization according to Matthew 6.22. I teach that your body is the temple of God and there's no other temple. It's the only place of worship. I teach that God is your own human imagination which is the creator in man. I teach that it is your thoughts that is creating your reality and that you can create your reality consciously. I thought, I teach that it is your thoughts that is creating your personality and that you're responsible for your thoughts. I teach that without thoughts or uh, an idea or uh, imagination, there isn't anything made that was made and that all things that was made was for us imagine. And everything else that ever going to be made, it must first be imagined. And I quote St. John 1 and 3 whenever I show you what I'm speaking about. And I also explain that when I say him in St. John 1 and 3, it is not a man 2,000 years ago. It is a personification of your own human imagination. Because the Bible from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22, it's a great psychological drama. It all has to do with the human psyche. The Garden of Eden is your mind. And I can go on and on and on to show you that the Bible is not literal and that the Bible is not secular history. And why all these people who are claiming to the bride of Christ and to claim that they are the chosen one, they would all end up being a comedy and they would all be mocked, at, mocked and laughed at. Because right now I'm having the last laugh. Because what I really want to speak to you about is how the president or prime minister of Trinidad and Tobago prove to the world that he's the real leader or pastor of the Third Exodus Assembly who claim to be the bride, who claim to be chosen, who claim to be the apostolic church, the church of Acts. But it takes a man-made virus to... Bring the world economy to a certain state and to bring the people under the energy of fear instead of the energy of love to expose all these false apostles and false prophets and false uh, fake church and fake preachers and fake Christians to show you the very people who was preaching and saying that the word pharmacy means pharmacare and it's sorcery and all of that. These are the same people who have to run to the pharmacy to look for healing. And these are the same people who have to abide by the rule of the government. Because why? They have organized. And when they organize, they've been practicing farms and rituals. And they've been going around in circle. And they, are, they have become stagnated. And they did the very thing that William Branham warned them about. When he says that whenever a man rise up and take them further, that they always, after the man would have left the scene, they would always denominate around what the man said and interpret it their own way, and they would stay right there and die. But they fail to realize, doesn't matter who man ever raise up, whatever he says, it ought to first be a thought. It ought to first be imagined. It ought to first be an idea. And he can't tell you anything outside of teaching you how to understand how thoughts work. That's all. That's, that's what it's all about. Every preacher who stands on a pulpit who tell you, don't do this, don't do that. Don't, don't mind the talking about the last days and pestilence and this and that. 
they always doing it mentally, psychologically. Why are they preaching a sermon? If the Bible is literal or if the Bible is secular history, why don't they go and walk on the sea? Why don't they turn water into wine? And the reason why I'm saying that, because the love reproduction states that every seed and every species must reproduce after its own kind. So whatever life that is in the seed, that is the life it will bring forth. Therefore, if there was a man 2,000 years ago named Jesus, who walked on water and who turned water into wine, and you know, living these people, who claim that they are the bride, and they are the chosen ones, why they can't they do these things? But the reason why they can't do it, my brother and my sister, because the entire Bible from Genesis 1 to Revelation 22, it's all a great psychological drama. And this life that we are living, it's all a dream. And not until you awake out of the dream, would you understand the new birth, the born again experience, the virgin birth. They still believe that a woman gave birth from down here. But I am telling you from experience, the birth is from right here. And when you've been birthed from here, you will awake within yourself and that eye would open and when that eye open then you will understand why, it's, why, why it says that you shall change from mortal to immortality in a twinkling of an eye that twinkling of an eye is an opening of an eye according to Psalm 78 65 and the Lord awake as of out of great sleep of out of a dream as one given to wine it's a dream this life is a dream everything you see around you here it's an illusion. It's not real. The only thing that is really real is your consciousness. Consciousness is the only reality. Therefore, my brother, my sisters, you will always blame a devil or an entity outside of yourself when you fail to hold yourself responsible for your thoughts. Because it is your own thought that is creating your reality, creating your personality, and every action must stem from a thought. So don't be stupid. <laughs> Wake up. These preachers just want to grab and enjoy your money. That is why I teach my people how to create their reality consciously. And when they create their reality consciously and they see that they can create money, then in turn, they turn around and they give also to me because they prove what I'm teaching them is the truth. So the shepherd always take care of the sheep first and then the sheep will turn around and take care of the shepherd. <laughs> That's how the true shepherd work. He don't take, take things from you and can't give you nothing. So all of them is just going wrong in circles. Then... Last and Hurricane Mountain. You understand? Just going wrong in circles. So my brother and my sisters, wherever you are, and you understand the song of my voice, if what I'm saying to you, if it makes sense to you and is resonating with you, then it is said it's only when the student is ready that the teacher would appear. And I do mentorship consulting. And I would encourage you to check out the testimonials that I've been posting and these channels and the many more testimonials that, that I'm going uh, uh, to post. There are going to be so many testimonials that people just cannot deny. But saying, I got to check I gotta check this man out. I, I got to be taught by this man. This man know what he's saying because results don't lie. That's why you're going to come to because I'm so sure. <laughs> because I know I am teaching. Not like the scribes and Pharisees. I'm teaching as one who have authority because why? I've had the experience. I've experienced St. John chapter 3. I know what it's all about. There's no God in the sky. The only God there is, is the God in you, which is the imagination. And when you understand how to use your imagination, you can create whatever you want to create in this world. And then you will know when it says that in the last days, you will realize your last days is when you're coming very close to you to leave, when you come close to you to die. So everyone will have the last days because you are creating your world. And your world must come to an end over here in this dimension so you can move on, so you can, you can experience the expansion, which is death. Death is an expansion of life because life is death and death is life. People fail to realize a birth is a death and a death is a birth. And I can go on and on and on. But as I would have said to you before, if it's resonating with you, it is for you. And if it's the first time you listen to me and you have a subscribe already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, and to share these videos. I know right now many people from the Toilet Access Assembly and followers of William Branham around the world, they would not want to listen to me now, but I'm storing up the food for them. They will come, those who must get this message, they will come, the message of self-realization, those that must wake up, those who must come and realize, look, I am the one who's creating my reality. 
I am the Lord and Master of my destiny. Those who must come to that, it is for you. So, with that being said, I want to just remind you that this message I bring to you is the single eye. The single eye. The single eye message of self-realization of which Matthew 6, 22 says, If I be single, man, your whole body is going to be full of light because God is light. And when you find out for yourself that God is light and you have the experience, you will awake within yourself like a fiery being from the base of your spine and you will ascend up and high like a fiery being as you will hear the unearthly wind and you will exit your skull and go beyond the brain. You will go beyond this body, beyond the tomb. You will roll the stone away and you will understand the resurrection. You will understand also that this body is a tomb. You will understand the cranium, the skull to be your to be Golgotha and you will understand also the true virgin birth and you will come to realize that you've been lied to you've been fooled you've been deceived you've been brainwashed to believe that a woman a virgin a literal virgin woman gave birth to down here I have something on Amazon Prime called the secret vagina I will encourage you to check it out and I'm making sure I'm putting that book together okay and there are many things I'm gonna bring to humanity that are gonna bring value to them to help them to show them how much they were chopped in secular Christianity and that they have been uh, mentally retarded and been kept in stupidity, mental slavery. That's why I was pointed to look inwardly to discover that your true identity is your divinity. That's the reason why my brother and my sisters, having had that experience, that born again experience, I always give you the symbol of the single eye and say to you, don't let no one fool you. Don't let no one make you feel afraid and believe because the sign is up on the US dollar and some secret society use the symbol is some symbol of some Lucifer and some symbol of some evil entity it's not true it is the single eye of the creator in you and they don't want you to discover that truth because it will empower you that is why they try to make you think it's an evil sign but it's not an evil sign it is a sign of the awakening of the God in you, which is your imagination, the creator in man. For everything in this world was first imagined. It was first a thought. It was first an idea. And they don't want you to know that you can create your reality consciously. They don't want you to know that money was first a thought. It was first an idea. And if you know how to use your imagination, you can create money as much as you want. And you can live a life of prosperity because you're living a life consciously. Therefore, my brother and my sister, I want to say to you, when you have the experience, you come to realize that it is the rising of the S-U-N in a S-O-N. And you will also come to realize that the sun is the giver of all life. And without the sun, there is no life and there is no light. And without the human imagination, there isn't anything made that was made. And that the sun parallels the human imagination and the human imagination parallels the sun. And you're told in the Bible, in Psalm 70, in Psalms 84, 11, that the Lord thy God is a son and a shield and no good thing will he withhold from you. And in Malachi 4, 2, you are told also that the son, as in the S-U-N, of, righteous, of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. Just the reason why I'm bringing healing to you in every area of your life by pointing you to look inwardly to discover your identity, to be your divinity and encouraging you that you must use your mind power, which is your solar power, your creative power, your God power, your sun power, to achieve your every desire. So that being said, I want to say peace. Love you all. I'm out.